we are given f of x equals the square root of x raised to the power of seven x and asked to determine f prime of x using logarithmic differentiation. Let's begin by replacing f of x with y and writing the square root of x using a rational exponent. Remember the square root of x is equal to x to the power of one half. This gives us the equivalent function y equals x to the power of one half raised to the power of seven x. In this form, notice how we have powers raised to powers and therefore we can simplify by multiplying the exponents. This gives us the equation y equals x to the power of one half times seven x is seven halves x. And now to perform logarithmic differentiation, we will take the natural log of both sides of the equation. And now we can expand the right side of the equation by using the power property of logarithms, which is natural log of x to the power of y equals y times natural log x which indicates natural log of x to the power of seven halves x is equal to seven halves x times natural log x. So this gives us the equation natural log of y equals seven halves x times natural log x. For the next step, we differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. And now to differentiate the left side, notice how we do have a function of y, and therefore we'll have to apply the chain rule when differentiating with respect to x. The derivative of natural log y with respect to x is one divided by y times dy dx. And now on the right, to differentiate with respect to x, we'll have to apply the product rule, where we have the first function of seven halves x times the derivative of the second function the derivative of natural log x with respect to x is one divided by x. And then we have plus the second function of natural log x times the derivative of the first function, which is the derivative of seven halves x with respect to x, which is seven halves. This gives us one divided by y times dy dx equals on the right. For seven halves x, the x is in the numerator, and therefore we can simplify x divided by x simplifies to one, leaving us with just seven halves times one or seven halves. And then we have plus seven halves natural log x. Next, we need to solve the equation for dy dx by multiplying both sides of the equation by y. Notice on the left, y times one divided by y is one. One times dy dx is dy dx. We have dy dx equals, on the right, we prefer to have the derivative only in terms of x, not x and y. So now we replace y with the original function, and let's use the form of x to the power of seven halves x. This gives us dy dx equals x to the power of seven halves x times the quantity seven halves plus seven halves natural log x. We're almost there, but let's continue on the next slide. For the last step, let's replace dy dx with f prime of x, since that's what the question asked for. And let's also factor out the greatest common factor of seven halves from the parentheses, and write f prime of x as seven halves times x to the power of seven halves x times the quantity one plus natural log x. I hope you found this helpful.